Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the Southern Utah Thunderbirds traveling to Cheney, Washington to take on the Eastern Washington Eagles. Now they're looking to rebound after getting shut out 24 to nothing versus the San Diego Toreros. And that was their first conference loss of the season. That was an embarrassment. Their offense couldn't get anything going and they're going to look to change that today. But I got the Eagles winning this one. Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the Thunderbirds and the Eastern Washington Eagles. Halfway through the season and the race in the Pac-10 is heating up. And here come the Eagles. The Eagles in this game expecting a win. I tend to agree with that. How about you, Herbie? Eastern Washington is led offensively by their quarterback. And he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. I got to have to go with them, too. The Eagles will win it. Mark it down. Well, there it is. You heard it, folks. Now let's take you down to the captains at midfield. So the Eagles are a unanimous selection today, and with good reason, because their offense couldn't get anything going last week against the Toreros. They really struggled, and I'm expecting the same kind of struggle here today. And here's Gregory picking up about seven or eight yards. It's third and six. Gregory going to have to throw it, and he has struggled all season to do just that. And they're only going to get maybe a yard out of that. So the Thunderbirds have to pump the football away on their first drive. And C.J. Moreland gets torched again. <laughs> I've lost count of how many times he's been beat. Nice play out to Dunn. Huge pickup for the Eagles. And they are in striking distance already. They hit Dunn again, beating C.J. Moreland for a touchdown. Eagles on top, 7-0 already. Dunn beats Moreland two consecutive plays, and it was very ugly. Here's Matthews breaking a tackle left side. A lot of space in front of him past midfield. And there's not a defender in sight. The Thunderbirds finally strike. It had been, I think, five or six quarters that they had not scored a single point. Very rough. Nice run for Cameron Matthews. Just runs over the cornerback. And I'm not sure where the safety was, but he was nowhere to be, to be found. All tied up at seven apiece. Can the pass defense actually hold up? No, they can't. Dunn beats Moreland again. Gets down to the 25-yard line. Four catches, 98 yards already, and a score. Over the middle, wide open is Garrett. And he's up to the five-yard line. Moreland on the tackle. First and goal. They're going to throw it again. Butler over the middle, and it's caught by Jones. Right in front of Lee Jr. And another touchdown pass. For the Eagles, 14-7 now. How will the Thunderbirds respond? Will they have another big-time touchdown? He's Gregory breaking a tackle after a nice juke move. Gets up to the 39-yard line. A fantastic run by the left-handed quarterback. Third and six. Gregory going to have to throw it, though. Yeah, rolling out. He actually takes off instead up to the 50-yard line. First down. He's got 34 yards today running for the football. Gregory in the shotgun going to throw again here. And try to. Pressure. Nobody's open. It's finally going to chuck it deep, and it's caught by Hunter up to the 15-yard line. And the Thunderbirds within striking distance inside the red zone. 25 seconds remain here in the first quarter. Matthews left side and gets pushed out of bounds inside the one-yard line. Looked like a sure touchdown. First to go from the one, they're going to give it off to Brandon Lee, and that is a standing touchdown. And they're going to tie this ball game back up. 14 seconds remain here in the first. Butler going to throw it over the middle. Destroyed. Lee Jr. with a massive hit. And Sherman is going to pick up the fumble. Huge hit. Just an unreal collision after the reception. Let's take another look at that one. He was just waiting for it. The receiver never saw him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One of the hardest hits you'll see all season. Second and ten for the Thunderbirds. Matthews, another carry right side, and he does not get the block he needs from McCutcheon. And they're going to go play action now. Gregory rolling out left side and tosses it up. He's got Turner, and he's got the end zone score for the Thunderbirds. They are taking the lead now after a 20-yard touchdown pass from Owen Gregory, who has been pretty god-awful throwing the football this season. He's made most of his plays running. But they do have the lead now, 21-14. Can the defense hold up? 
Here's Ricks catching it. And another massive hit. And another fumble by Jackson. That was a forced fumble from Jackson. Recovered by Southern Utah. That was Keith on the recovery. Just another huge hit, this time for the star cornerback. And with a chance to take a two-score lead, Gregory going to throw it over the middle. Caught by Freeman inside the 10-yard line first and goal. Owen Gregory, 4 of 7 for 76 yards and a score. Gregory sacked way back at his 14-yard line. Tuiasa Sopo, the left end, coming through. Gregory, play action. Rolling around, and he throws a pick. He wanted to hit Brandon Lee. He could not find him. Ricks on the interception. And we did just see Ricks catch a pass on offense as well. Play action from Butler. And he's going to be picked off by Lee. And he's going to return this up to the 10-yard line. Middle linebacker gets his second interception on the season, I believe. Another great play by the defense. Three takeaways already here in the first half. And Gregory is going to be sacked again. That is to Iasa Silpo for the second time this half. That'll make it second and 16 for the Thunderbirds. High formation. They're going to hand off to Lee right up the middle. And his acceleration is phenomenal. It looked like he fell in the end zone. But they're going to mark him just short of the end zone. And it'll be first and goal. Lee gets it again, though. Carries a defender and scores. 28-14 is the score. Thunderbirds starting to pull away maybe a little bit. As they kick it deep, that'll be returned by Dunn, who has a touchdown reception today. And he's going to have a big return here, and Webb misses on the tackle attempt. Dunn is gone. So he's got a couple big receptions, almost 100 yards receiving, and now he's got a kick return for a touchdown. Here's Matthews on another off-tackle carry out of the shotgun. And gets in, uh, about 15 or 16 yards, and he's over 100 yards for the game already. Gregory on the option. Jukes up to the 41-yard line. This is what the offense should have done last week against San Diego, but they were not running any options. I believe maybe they only ran one or two the entire game. Here's Matthews again inside the 25-yard line. A buck 28 on the ground. Second and nine. Thunderbirds, two timeouts left. Quick pass to the middle. Turner wide open again. He had the touchdown earlier. Lee on the option up to the three-yard line. Just keep feeding the beast. First and goal from the one. Lee again. He falls into the end zone for his third touchdown run of the first half. And he is the team leader in rushing touchdowns. That'll end the first half. 35-21. Thunderbirds on top. 301 yards of offense. Only a buck 43 for Eastern Washington. Here's Thompson. Nice carry. Picks up maybe six yards. About a yard shy of the first down. Third and one. Butler going to throw a right side. Deflected away at the last second by Donald Lee Jr. And a great play by the middle linebacker. That forces a punt. Matthews gets a carry on a counter. And it says broken tackle, but he just got destroyed. That'll get him to 140 yards rushing, though. He'll get another carry. Left side in the open field. And up past midfield into Eagle territory. Now third and five. Gregory's going to keep this one himself right up the middle, close to the marker. And they're going to say he is just short, but the Thunderbirds are going to go for it. Brandon Lee gets the first down, about a two-yard pickup. That is the 17th first down of the game for Southern Utah. And Eastern Washington only has four. Gregory's going to get another first down here. Right side dives forward to avoid a hit. And he's up to 62 yards rushing. Second and eight. Matthews, what a spin move. Still going, breaking a tackle, gets another first down. This ground and pound attack is just controlling the entire outcome of this game right now. Gregory hot routing. Or actually changing the direction. Lee's going to get a counter, and he's going to walk into the end zone untouched for his fourth rushing touchdown of the game. Him and Matthews are a fantastic one-two punch. And then you've got Gregory running the football as well. And yet they tried to throw it in the entire game against San Diego. First down for the Eagles. Now second and down. Second down, not second and down. My goodness. Bryce King out in deep coverage. Garrett comes down with it inside the five-yard line, though, beating C.J. Moreland again. And the help from Bryce King does not help. And they are going to get a touchdown run here from Thompson, running over a linebacker. And that will get them back within two touchdowns of the Thunderbirds. 42-28. Matthews off tackle. Jukes spins to the outside. Pass midfield. Pass the 45 down inside the 45-yard line to the 41-yard line. Look at the moves. So shifty. Jukes out two defenders, spins out another defender, and gets about 20 extra yards out of the run. 
incredible. Matthews, another carry, shoots to the outside, back into the middle of the field, and picks up eight more yards. Third and inches. High formation. Lee has the carry, picks up eight, and a first down. He's got over 600 yards rushing now and 13 touchdowns on the year. Matthews, what a cutback to the right side, picks up another first down. He's averaging 13.2 yards per carry. The Eagles have no answer for him today. And here he is again inside the 10, down to the 8-yard line. 236 yards on the ground today for Cameron Matthews. What a stud. Gregory on the option. He will have a touchdown run as well. That'll make it 49 to 28. Gregory is pumped. He's going to spike the football here. Three minutes remain in the game. Let me know what you guys think of the all-white uniforms for the Thunderbirds. I think they're pretty slick. Surprised there wasn't a flag thrown right there. Butler coming out slinging. He's picked off again by Lee Jr. Second of the game. Returns it up to the 20-yard line. The fans are now starting to file out of the stands. They have no faith in their team. But there's under three minutes remaining. I don't think I'd have too much faith in my team either. Look at that spin move from Matthews inside the 10 down to the 8-yard line. They just can't contain him. 383 yards rushing today for Southern Utah. Only eight for Eastern Washington. Matthews taken down. It looked like the ball was on the goal line. They're going to say he was just short. Third and goal. Gregory option. Pitches out to Matthews. Taken down, but he fights forward. Has the score. And the Thunderbirds are on top by four scores. Four touchdowns, exactly. Cam Matthews, 256 yards. Two scores today. Phenomenal performance. Brandon Lee, of course, had four touchdown runs. Here's another interception for the defense. That is Spence. And you can barely hear the crowd at all in this game right now. As Spence returns it up to the 44-yard line. Donald Lee Sr., extremely happy with the performance of his entire team today. Here is Matthews again, picks up nine more yards. He's got over 1,000 on the season now with eight touchdowns. Second and one. Matthews again gets a carry. Spins back to the middle in the open field, down to the 15-yard line. Oh my goodness, another 20 plus yard run today for Cameron Matthews. That's going to be it guys, 56 to 28 is the final. Crowd is dead silent right now. Their team just got absolutely throttled at home. Which is exactly what happened to the Thunderbirds last week against the Toreros. This is what they should have done last week. But they just decided to throw the ball 90% of the time last week. And the Toreros have a pretty solid defense, so that wasn't working for them at all. 420 yards on the ground for the Thunderbirds. They're definitely getting their offense back in the rhythm that they were in before that loss. And they put up a lot of points today. 56 on the road. That's very impressive. Gregory, 5 of 9. 88 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Didn't really need him to throw the football too much. He also had 70 on the ground. Brandon Lee, 65 on the ground, four scores. 285 yards rushing for Cameron Matthews with two touchdowns. 129 yards after contact, four 20-plus yard runs, and five broken tackles. Brandon Lee had two fumbles today. You didn't see any of them, but they were all just fumbles where he fell down on the ground and he recovered his own fumble. Brandon Red, 13 pancakes. Not a bad day after he allowed his first sack last week against San Diego. Not a whole lot of tackles today. The ground game was working for the Thunderbirds. They ran out most of this entire game. And that's really what they needed to do. The Eagles are a big play type team. And if you want to see that, go back and watch the Northern Colorado game where they won on a last second kick return for touchdown. And that's what they rely on, big plays. So keeping their offense off the field was a huge reason why the Thunderbirds were able to put up 56 points on this team and only allow 28 Juan Freeman, 131 kick return yards today. And there's the players of the game. Matthews, Lee, and Lee Jr. Dunn, Tuiasa Sopo, and Ricks, who had an interception today. And also played some receiver for the Eagles. Our next Southern, uh, Southern Utah Thunderbirds football game, they will be hosting the Northern Colorado Bears, another subscriber with subscriber game. That can go either way. That'll be a fun one. That'll be a Week 11 matchup and should be great. Southeastern travels to take on South Dakota State, who is without Lamar Jackson tomorrow. So we'll see Matt Harris. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.